Hi, everyone, and welcome to Royals at the Ranch for Thursday, April 27, 2023. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. I am bringing this episode to you from the road. And this week, we're going to have a behavior focus for Royals at the Ranch, and we are going to talk about the stress response in Royal Pythons and possibly what might be going on with their stress system. As I'm sure many of you know, if you work with Python Regis, that their default anti-predator response in the case of being afraid, distressed, or encountering a perceived threat is to ball up, freeze, and hide. So typically, individuals of any species that default to a freeze-hide response to fear, distress, or a perceived threat are reactive. And this means that they have a more pronounced physiologic stress response and they take longer to recover from stress or return to baseline. It just means that they take a longer period of time for all of the stress hormones to leave their body than animals that tend to flee or fight, which is considered a proactive way of coping with stress. In a paper published in 2020, it was determined that the default anti-predator defense behavior in Python Regis is balling up and hiding their heads within their coils. Royal pythons in this particular study had lower concentrations of corticosterone, sterone, corticosterone at baseline, and they also had lower levels of corticosterone following an induced stressful event than other pythons in the same study. In fact, Python Regis had a muted corticosterone response in comparison to the other pythons in this particular study, which was by Brashears et al. A muted stress response, what? So a muted stress response might make you think that Python regis aren't as easily stressed as other snakes, but research across vertebrate taxa supports that the opposite might actually be true. So how can Python regis have lower levels of corticosterone at baseline and lower levels following a distressing event and be experiencing more stress than other snakes that have higher levels of stress hormones? Well, let's see what research actually tells us about that. So studies across vertebrate taxa have found that decreased cortisol concentrations and muted HPA axis reactivity are associated with chronic stress disorders. Animals have been found to have lower corticosterone concentrations under chronic stress conditions. So what could be occurring is that when royal pythons are distressed and continue to experience distress or experience another stressful event before returning to baseline and getting all of those prior stress hormones out of their system, they actually become chronically stressed. And this can dysregulate the normal physiologic stress response, causing it to actually become muted and produce less stress hormones. We know that research indicates that chronically stressed animals have been found to have a muted corticosterone response. So if the subjects of the Brashears study were stressed just from participation in the study alone, meaning just being in the study stressed them, and then they were repeatedly stressed on purpose during the study, the muted stress response could have been due to experiencing chronic stress with no opportunity to return to baseline. So how long do Python Regis need to return to normal? Well, we don't know. Okay, a recent look at some snakes at the St. Louis Zoo might give us a little clue, but first I have to remind you that snakes have metabolisms that are slow compared to mammals. They digest slowly, they metabolize drugs slowly, and stress hormones may and likely do move through their system slowly. A study published in 2022 by Lauren Augustine at the St. Louis Zoo found that snakes at that zoo had glucocorticoid levels checked at baseline, again after about one month of daily habitat disturbances, and then again about one month after stopping the disturbances. And the snake's glucocorticoid levels spiked when they were experiencing daily habitat disturbances. That stands to reason. And they were lower after the habitat disturbances were stopped, but they had still not returned to baseline levels, 
even after one month of no disturbances. So they took the stress hormone levels at baseline, then they disturbed the snakes every day for about a month, and they took more stress hormone levels and they spiked. You might think so. I mean, that's logical because you were disturbing and stressing the snakes every day. But after they stopped disturbing and stressing the snakes every day, the stress hormone levels had still not returned to normal even after a month. Think about that. So what could all of this mean? Well, all this combined may mean that Python Regis are reactive to perceived threats. It means that they have a reactive stress coping response versus a proactive stress coping response. They may have a strong and potentially prolonged reaction to stress, which then means it may take longer than most people allow for royals to recover from stress or to return to baseline, which is a comfortable, safe and relaxed state where all of those elevated stress hormone levels have returned to normal and left their system and that when these snakes are not allowed time to recover from stress and they're faced with an additional stressor, they may experience chronic stress, which is gonna dysregulate their physiologic stress response and corticosteroid production may become muted. So please remember the stress response in snakes and other reptiles has been directly studied in only a few cases and we need lots more research. There are numerous studies across vertebrate species, but very few specifically with snakes. And behavior science, neuroscience, and the biological sciences in general need more people dedicated to researching snakes and other reptiles, because these animals are just as important as every other animal. Here are some resources. I got much of the information from today's presentation from these papers, so I encourage you to please read them for yourselves. Thanks for caring enough to learn. Until next time, always remember to be kind and love your animals. Don't stress your snakes out and give them plenty of time to recover after what they perceive as a distressing event. Thank you.